good morning children today we are discussing about the topic of climate of india so many people while talking or while going outside not having a clarity about the weather and climate what is weather and what is climate both are different we should be get one clarity about the weather and climate the atmosphere of state conditions which uh, we can call them as a rainfall precipitation humidity temperature bright sunshine then today we are discussing about the topic of climate of india generally weather and climate we will talk most of the people both are same but as if you go in a depth meaning both are separate only the state of atmosphere condition which we can take in the consideration part of elements we can call weather and climate elements we can call for example like uh, rainfall precipitation humidity wind atmosphere pressure these all we can take in the part of elements of weather and climate if these all taken for a place for a short period it is called what weather for a short period we can take these all as a elements for example the same elements if you take for long period same elements which one atmosphere pressure humidity rainfall precipitation wind and uh, bright sunshine these all comes uh, change for a long term these all change for a long term that is called what climate long term means what for example it will take some 30 years or 40 years or we can take maximum 30 years as a climate so here now for day to day hour to hour will be change is called as a weather but climate will take a long period for 30 years you know it will take as a 30 years that is called what as a climate and here the pattern of elements the pattern of elements of weather and climate which shows for us in pictures and graph is called climograph or climatograph one second i will say the pattern of elements of weather and climate which show in pictures or graphs is called what climograph or climatograph what does the climatograph and climograph show for us what does the climatograph and climograph show for us it shows for us maximum and minimum temperature and rainfall for a given place what does it show for us maximum temperature minimum temperature rainfall for a given place now we'll see the example of the climograph how we will see we'll take one place <coughs> here we have taken the what jaipur place the lo location of the jaipur 26 degrees 9 north latitude 75.8 degrees east longitude it is a what location of the jaipur place capital of rajasthan state if you observe the picture very clearly graph we can find here see 0 50 100 150 200 250 these are called the part of millimeters this is all what mm millimeters here in the part of left side we are taking the what as a rainfall what rainfall if you come to the right side 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 it represent for us temperature it represent for us what temperature now here we have taken in the months jan february march april may june july august september october november december it is the what we can take the climatograph or climograph just now what we said the pattern of elements of weather and climate which show for us in pictures or graph that is called what as here climograph what is that climograph or climatograph we can call for example if you see your observation done for us in the month of july and august this blue graph which can call as a bar graph we can call this one the blue bar graph show for us rainfall when the rainfall july and august how much is there means if you observe here more than 220 mm in the month of july and august we can take and when we have the less if you observe here in the month of december we can take or in the march we can find here what does this black lines and blue lines show for us here i wrote i will see mean maximum temperature mean minimum temperature mean maximum temperature of the place mean minimum temperature of the place of jaipur so here obviously we can find see when we can find the high temperature in jaipur place if you observe this one see the black graph you can 
find here. So in the month of, we can take here April or in the part of May, we can find the high temperature. When does it fall down so here, we can find here, if you observe this graph once, in the month of January we can find less. Like this we can find, we can uh, discuss about the more they have given in the textbook for us. One is the place Leh, second is Chennai, third is Delhi and first one is Jaipur. We have taken one example of the climatograph or climograph. Influence, influencing for us in what what are there, otherwise influencing or climatical contrast we can call, we will discuss now one by one. For example, uh, first one is latitude, second is land and water relationship, third is relief, fourth is upper air current circulation. Before that we will discuss about that, why the places having a variation in the part of temperature and rainfall. For example, we will take two places, one is Chennai and second is Delhi. Delhi is, uh, we can call as a continental type of climate, continental type of climate we can call. Continental because it is a very far from the sea coast area. It is a very far from the sea coast area. There is not bonded with the Arabian Sea and it is not bonded with the Bay of Bengal also. If you take an example of Chennai, if you take an example of Chennai, it is a sea coastal area. So when you complete here, if you observe. We can find a very wide variation differences in the temperature in the day and night as well as in Chennai we can find very low. Here very high we can find variation in the temperature of the day and night. Here we can find very low because it is bonded with the sea coast area. It is not bonded with the sea coast area. And one more thing, the coming to the Indian point, the North India is bounded with the Himalayas. North India is bounded by Himalayas and southern India is bounded by the a long coastal area a long coastal area for example if you see this picture small here we can find what Arabian Sea here we can find what Bay of Bengal here we can find what Indian Ocean so here Gujarat Maharashtra Goa Karnataka Kerala, Tamil Nadu, AP, Odisha and West Bengal. These all are having bonding with the coastal areas and North India is bonded by the Himalayas. Now we will discuss about one by one the factors which are affecting the climate of India for us. The first one is what? We will discuss now about the latitude and land and water relationship and third is water relief, fourth is upper air current circulation. First one, the which the factor influence on the climate of India. What is that one? Latitude. If you observe the globe here, one see. Here, we can take as an equator, Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of Capricorn North South Cell of North South South Pole North Pole Here if you observe see the tropical which are very close to the equatorial region tropics from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn is called what tropical zone we can call or we can call as a torrid zone or we can call as a what torrid zone these are very close to your equator we can find here very high temperature next poles are very close to the polar region. Where are the poles? The 90 degrees north and 90 degrees south is called what? Poles only. These poles are very close to where in the for 
polar region and next here the temperate where we can find from tropic of cancer to arctic circle and tropic of capricorn to antarctic circle here we can find these are what extremely we can call them as a temperate zone from tropic of cancer to arctic circle is called what temperate zone from tropic of capricorn to antarctic circle temperate zone from tropic of cancer to tropic of capricorn is called what tropic zones or we can call them as a torrid zone and poles are very near to the polar region now we will discuss about the ones how it is influenced as you know all of you that if you are we already learned in the ninth class the intensity of the temperature or we can call them as a insulation what is that insulation means what do you mean by insulation the incoming solar radiation as if you are moving from equator to the higher region here see equator means what 0 degrees if you are moving from 0 degrees to high and high what will happen here here you can observe moving from low latitude these are called what low latitude if you are moving from low latitude to the high high latitude what will happen here the temperature the temperature falls down the temperature falls down for us means as you are moving for high altitude also we can find that one it is decreasing the temperature for us next if we observe that one the same thing in our india also the india has divided into two parts through the what the line is passing through middle of the country this called what as a tropic of cancer what is it tropic of cancer tropic of cancer we can find all the earth is has not happening for us equal as a equitable temperature and equitable rainfall and the weather condition climatical condition we know that all very well for example take an example of indonesia and japan and some areas we can take some are having a very fast heat and some are having very slow heating so it depends upon the climatical conditions we will discuss next in the point land and water relationship for example if you divide the tropic of cancer two parts of india northern part and southern part to the tropic of cancer southern part to the tropic of cancer southern part of india south india it is having in the tropical zone to the tropic of cancer southern part uh, northern part it is come in the part of temperate zone it is come in the part of what temperate zone already we know about the the location of india what 8 degrees 4 minutes to 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitude to 68 degrees 7 minutes east to uh, west to 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitude the location here we can find very clearly to the tropic of cancer southern part having the tropical zone and to the tropic of cancer northern part we can find what as a temperature zone so that is the what we can find the kanyakumari having a different climatical condition in our country which uh, we can find in our india as a highly completely different weather and climatical condition now we'll discuss about the another factor influence on the climate of india that is what land and water relationship till now we discuss about the what latitude now we are discussing about the land and water relationship come to the land and water relationship here if you observe see very the picture very clearly the warm air which rays from the land and in the day time again the cool breeze will be start and the sea will become very cooler in the way at the same time now here the land will become very cooler in the night time the cool land breeze will be start next the sea will become a warmer so when you take, you will take one example take one no, take two bowls take two bowls and keep on the stove one is a empty bowl a second with water bowl so if you start the uh, flaming on the stove the which bowl will become very fast heat and which bowl become will be as a slow heat we can observe that one the empty bowl will become a fast heat and fast cool but what is a water bowl first the bowl will become heat after heating the bowl again it heats the water also so what happened the same you are observing that one the land and water also the fast heating the place which we can take land will become very fast heat and fast cool 
and water will become very slowly heat and slowly it will become cool here we can observe the day time the earth will become very fast heat and fast cool for example the sun rays reach to the earth how many minutes into 8 minutes will take the sun will reach the sun rays to earth how many in the 8 minutes so we can observing see in the part of at 7 o'clock 8 9 10 it will become slowly heating part at 12 o'clock we can find unable to bear uh, to stand outside also again in the evening at 5 o'clock it will become slowly cooling but when you observe at the sea area or when you go to the dams or if you go any other places in the part of barrages we can observe in the day time will get got as a little bit cool but again in the evening part it will get the warm breeze if you observe the dams or if you observe the sea coastal area so that is the what difference why because the water will become very slowly heat and slowly cool so when we will start the heating about that one water part maybe at 3 o'clock or slowly 2 o'clock onwards it will start in the very slowly heating and it will be keep continuous till the night time also that is the why when we see in the part of sea coast area night time we will get the warm breeze in the day time we will get the what cool breeze at where sea coast area <coughs> So here, if you observe this one, the land and water relationship, the dark area, the thick vegetation are the very good observers, and light areas are very good reflectors. We can find the dark area, thick vegetation we can find as a very good observers, and light areas very good reflectors to us as soon as back for us, as we can take as the eye sheets area. Next, coming to the part of South India, coming to the part of South India. as it having a very long coastal line of our country very long coastal line of our country the india is having a long coastal how much 6100 kilometers length including islands means 7516.6 km having the coastal line so it covers total nine coastal states in india how many nine coastal states of india in the western coastal plain gujarat we can take maharashtra Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Eastern part, Tamil Nadu, AP, Odisha, and next West Bengal. These nine coastal states are having the very long, and it is having the part the moderate climate influencing the India in the part of South India, which we can call them as a equitable climate. We can find so the land and water relationship. When you take the warm air, will be breathed from the land when it's become a warmer, when it's become a heat, and the cool sea breeze. the when sea will become cooler we can find here at this time night land will become cooler and sea will become a warmer how just now we discuss about that one the land will become very fast heat and fast cool the same the water will become a slowly heat and slowly cool so that is the what we can find here the differences in the night time sea will become warmer and land will become cooler in the day time sea will be cooler land will become warmer and as the india is having covered totally the long coastal line of south india we are having the equitable moderate climate this is about relation with the land and water relationship of the factor of climate of india we can another factor influence of the climate of india is what relief feature relief we can find here what we have to observe see the third factor which influence the climate of india relief is nothing we can call them as a what here altitude or elevation height uh, height or we can call them as a what height as you are moving height from sea level to the height so to the if increase the altitude or elevation or height from the sea level what will happen the temperature will be falls the temperature will be falls down for us this is called what we can have one more word uh, simply for every 1000 meters for every 1000 meters if we are going high and high 6 degrees celsius of temperature will be fall down that is called what normal lapse temperature normal laps temperature we can call this one simply we can call this like what n l t for every 1000 meters as if you are going high and high 
6 degrees Celsius temperature will be faster. This is called what as a normal lapse temperature. So as you are moving high elevation, as you are going high in height, and as you are going high altitude, we can find what the temperature will be falls down for us. So we can take an example few other in our countries. Few hill stations. That is the what reason here. Hill stations are always cool. I think all of you know about the hill stations, right? We can take an example of what Shimla, Rani Kate. Darjeeling, Mussoorie, Nainital, or we can take it like Udaga uh, Mandala. In Chittu district, we have one more hills, Horsley Hills, we can call that. These are what we can call them as a hill stations. When you find here, see. If you are going high hill stations, we can find the what the temperature will be falls down here. So on the base of height or on the base of higher elevation, on the base of high altitude, we can find what the temperature will be falls down. So till now we discuss one point what when you compare to the uh, Delhi and Chennai, Delhi and Chennai, Delhi is a, having a very high variation of the temperature when you compare to the Chennai. Why? Because Chennai is a what? coastal area. Delhi is a what as a inland. Now if you compare from Chennai to Simla, if you compare from Chennai to Simla, which will become a fine air cool means the Shimla is having a very cool when you compare to the coastal area. Why? Because it is having the high and high elevation place. So uh, we can find some 2200 meters above height we can find the Shimla elevation. So always we can find here what? cool and it is called as a summer resort also. So here what? Relief as you are going high elevation or high altitude, the temperature falls down for every 1000 meters, the 6 degree Celsius temperature will be falling. It is called what as a normal lapse temperature. Where we can find means most of the hill stations like Shimla, Rani Kate, Darjeeling, Mussoorie, Nainital, Udgamandalam or we can call it as a Uti or we can call it Chittu district as a what? Parsley Hills. This is a what? One of the factors influence of the climate of India relief feature. Last factor, the fourth factor uh, which uh, influence the climate of India upper atmospheric circulation. In the northern hemisphere, the subtropical high pressure belt increased and is blows to the equatorial low pressure belts. It uh, dwells in the part of to move western part. When it moves western part, it creates what for us as a trade winds. It creates a what winds? There is a trade winds. Where it will start from? In the northern hemisphere, from subtropical high pressure belts to it blow where? To the equatorial low pressure. And it moves to where? To the western parts. When it moves western parts, it forms as a trade winds for us. Very, very clear. The German word, the German word track, the German word track means nothing but is the meaning as a train. Okay. The climate of India, the climate of India affected by the upper air currents is called what? Jet streams. What is it one? Jet streams. The climate of India affect by the upper air currents. What is that? Upper air currents. It is known as what? Jet streams. These jet streams will be blow at the height of 12,000 meters above height. 12,000 meters above height. In the summer season and winter season having a variation of the speed. In the summer season it will move 110 km per hour with the speed. In the winter it moves 184 km per hour. This will be blow this one which you can call as a jet streams. The climate of India affected by the upper air currents is known as what? Jet streams. These we can find where? At the above elevation of the 12,000 meters above the high we can find. In the summer season the jet streams having the 110 km per hour speed we can find here in blue. In the winter 184 km per hour. This will be formed the northern at 25 degrees eastern where? 25 degrees east, which create for us as a rainfall also easterly in the part of area. 
clear once again we will discuss the last upper atmosphere circulation which will blow in the northern hemisphere from subtropical high pressure belt to equatorial low pressure belt from here it will move to the western part and it form as a trade winds here the german word track means nothing but here as a trade german word track means what here as a trade here which will be blow constantly continuously throughout the year in the same position which we can call as a permanent winds as called as a permanent winds we already learned in the ninth class only permanent winds or planetary winds or trade winds or westerly winds these different types of and local winds and hot winds cool winds these all we discuss in the ninth class only these also concept subtropical high pressure belt subtropical polar region and polar belt sub polar westerly these all we discuss in the previous in the ninth class only the same concept <coughs> the climate of india which is affected by the upper air currents is known as a what jet streams these are having the height of about 12000 meters height we can observe this one fine and the, in the summer season it having the 110 km with speed of the per hour in the winter season it will be more blow as a 184 km per hour these which are going to be as a create a rainfall and forming the clouds at the 25 degrees easterly area we can find this is about upper atmospheric circulation climate of india click each tab to know more Let us now learn about each of these factors in brief. Let us start with latitude or distance from the equator. The earth is divided into the following regions based on their distance from the equator. Tropical close to the equator. Polar close to the poles. And temperate places in between these two extremes. The temperature decreases as we go away from the equator. The temperature of the atmosphere at a particular place on the earth depends on the insulation that is heat from sun rays received there. Intensity of insulation is more in the equatorial region than the polar region. The reason for this is the angle of incidence is 90 degrees at equator. and thus causes high temperatures and the angle of incidence changes as we go away from equator to poles the average annual temperature of a place decreases as we go away from equator towards the poles india is situated roughly between 8 degrees to 37 degrees north latitudes it is divided into two equal parts by the tropic of cancer The southern part of India lies in the tropical belt closer to the equator. It has the temperate zone. For example, the climate of Kanyakumari is completely different from that of Bhopal or Delhi. Now, let us know about the land and water relationship with respect to the climate of a place. The nature of the surface determines the amount of and loses heat slowly. This affects climate in many ways. The influence of the sea is moderate on southern India which has a long coastline. There is not much difference in the day and night temperatures and in summer and winter as well. This is called equable climate. Now let us learn about another factor that is relief The temperature decreases as altitude increases as a result hills and mountains will have lower temperature than the plains In this way the climate of a particular Nainital Gulmarg and Darjeeling have a cool climate even in severe summer Similarly certain regions in south like Udagamandalam Uti and kodai kenal are cool when compared to the regions near the coast now let us know about another factor influencing climate that is the upper air circulation the subtropical high pressure belt of the northern hemisphere gives rise to permanent winds these winds are called trade winds trade means track 
and blow towards the equatorial low pressure region, reflecting towards west. India is located in the belt of dry northeast trade winds. India's climate is also affected by the movement of upper air currents called jet streams. Atmosphere and causes rain. In the east, jet streams develop at about 25 degrees north. Today we discussed about the concept of weather, what is weather, what is climate, what are the elements of weather, elements of climate, temperature, humidity, wind, precipitation, rainfall, bright sunshine. These all are, if uh, change for a short period is called what weather, for long period we can call as a climate for minimum 30 years. And what does it show? The pattern of elements of weather in climate, which shows for us in pictures and graphs are called what? Climograph or climatograph. What does it show for us? It shows for us maximum minimum temperature and rainfall for a given place. And we discuss the factors of climate of India. Four are there. One is latitude. Second is land and water relationship. Third is relief. Fourth is upper atmospheric circulation.